Oh, good morning, sparklers. Don't you look so stylish? She found daddy's hat in his closet and then she's been wearing it ever since. So Will is on his way home. It's actually not even morning anymore. It's afternoon and I'm still drinking coffee, which I'm worried I might regret tonight, but Will actually had to go to work today on a Saturday to kind of help his team out with some new accounts. So he's been a bit busy and so he'll be on his way home here. He'll be showing up and then we'll be able to do something with our day. I don't think we have anything uh -oh. set in stone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you dropped your toy. Go get that toy. Reagan discovered some old toys in her playroom, so she's been showing them off to me. Thank you for your old teether, and thank you for your mermaid. Yeah. Yeah, here. So it's sad to say, but we did not set up the tree yet. And being that it's Saturday, I'm hoping that we might be able to go out when Will gets back if he's motivated, <laughs> or I guess if he's up for it, and then collect some decor for the front yard. I know I kind of put it on him, at least in the last video I had mentioned that I was hoping he'd be motivated, but honestly, it's something I want to do. I just I don't want to actually do it. So as Will nicely had put it, I am tasking him with a chore, but I figured if we both go, then we can both get things set up. I don't think we need to get anything too intricate. I don't think the front of the house needs to be lit up like crazy, right? Right? Yeah. We have done that to our house back in Phoenix. Will had got tech. Will had taken the time to get all the lights set up and it looked really pretty. But yeah. We got two whole floors. It's tough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we've not done too much yet today. I was working on some videos. Reagan actually had a nap in. Did the dishes. I gotta put these dishes away. I guess I can do that while I'm waiting for Will to get back. Did you find your milk? Where was that milk? Where'd you find that milk? Is that your breakfast milk still hanging around? Yeah. Oh, you need a refill? Here, let me get you some water. How about some water? I'll trade you. I'll trade you water for your milk. Yeah, can I have that, that milky? No? You want to keep that? Let's put that away, though. Yeah. Fresh water is always good for you. Only one little hair tie survived Reagan's destruction today. Ha, 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 ha. Thank you. Well. Uh, all right, you keep it then. You keep it. They're coming to life more since last time. Again, each pot has something different in it. Where's this guy? Well, he's got a green guy over here. So each one's growing something else. And then this one, they're hard to find. They're not growing in here, and I'm thinking it's because I have it in a yogurt container. <laughs> but there is a little bit of green over there. This one's just coming in so slow. I wonder if I put, since this is the sage, I remember that much. Let me put that there. I wonder if I swap places, if that'll help a little. I doubt it. I know this container just needs to go. So there's not a lot of things that I've had passed down to me in my lifetime, but I think that's more so because there's not a lot of things that people above me have held on to for a lot of years. Or if they've held on to it, it was for other purposes than passing things down. And I think I'm going to kind of run that risk with Reagan, where... Things I'm holding on to, I want to show her, but I don't necessarily care or have interest in her keeping. I just want to show her. So, tangent aside, some of the things I've had passed down to me are often Christmas decor. And these are actually for my grandparents, so check it out. I have little mice all around. There's a bunch more than what you're seeing. These are just some of them. And I've set them up here every Christmas. I have been putting them around the kitchen. They have found their home in our Phoenix house, in the house we rented. I don't believe they were ever in our apartment. I believe my dad had had them and he brought them to Arizona when we officially moved into our house. So that was the first time we had set them up. And so they're in here as well. 
And then I have some up on this shelf. Let me show you. I have a mix of decor actually. All right, so then there's some more mice. And then I have that pencil that's also from my grandparents. And then some of this stuff is mine and some of this stuff is decor that I've had. Of course, my dad had given me and we have a couple of the stockings and that's kind of what sparked needing more stockings. So I, I set the letter ones aside that we had gotten. I need something to hang them on. The only sort of hangers I have are these things and the two snowmen are actually hangers, but they're not hang, they're no, there's no stockings on them. And then these two stockings, are hanging on these doodads. I want to really show you these Christmas ornaments. I'll give you a sneak preview even though they're not on the tree yet because ugh, getting this tree set up seems to be a chore in and of itself. All right, so these are just balls, nothing special. But in here is a mix of things. So real quick before I go through this. So I remember growing up and going to my grandparents' house on Christmas. We actually started spending Christmas Day there many, 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 many times. Uh, my mom had gotten pretty sick and uh, some of her absent times were always around Christmas. So we always leaned to my grandparents and it, it just became a, a tradition in and of itself. And so... One of the things I had noticed when I was young is that my grandparents have a ball, a Christmas ball, on their tree for every year since they've pretty much been together. And I thought I always wanted to have that as my own tradition and just have an ornament to represent every year. It doesn't have to follow a theme. Hallmark does a series. And so it didn't have to follow that series concept. That would be nice. But ultimately, as long as there's a year, I'd feel good. And come to find out, I, I recently had learned that 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 tradition was started kind of random for them. My grandfather was in the hospital and one of the gifts he was given from his own sister was an ornament with the year on it and then I guess that kind of set them up to maintain that tradition and it's funny because they that was started to them, through them, from someone in their family, and then I see it a couple generations after, and I'm doing it too, so anyway, we have a lot of ornaments. When I originally expressed the idea, I think it was in, I want to say 2012, roughly, whenever this series started, we, my dad had gotten me a snowman ornament every year, and pretty much all the ones in this box there is nothing but snowmen and those all need to basically go back up on the tree and so anywho the, I, I think they still do this series I'm not sure because there's too many variations but this is a very specific snowman series but those need to go back up you reading your stories what I want to show you though is my customization so I started a tradition around the same time I did the stocking where every year I would doodle an ornament for my family. And so this is like when we had first moved to Arizona. I didn't know it would come on canvas, but I thought, oh, we'll be FaceTiming my dad. So this is like a FaceTime image of me and Erica in Arizona saying hi. And <laughs> that was one year. And then this was last year because everybody was all COVID with the masks. And so that's baby Reagan. And then here's another one of us around the tree. And these are just things I've given to him. And so, you know, now that he's passed on, I have them all back. But this one had of all of our gerbils. You can see it across our shoulders. We had so many gerbils. Thank God my dad let me do that. And then the fish up near the top because I also had pet fish. So there was a lot. And then actually right here where my thumb is, is a mouse, because we had a mouse as well between all those gerbils. And yeah, these are these are just things I have. There's another one in here, but it's, it's a porcelain material, and it's really sad that I can't keep this tradition going with my dad. But I had, I have so many. And I've even started some of these with Will, and I've tried to keep our tradition going. So of course, I have this canvas 
material. And then I've given a lot of these to my grandparents. I'll draw them in, in place of my dad or me and Erica. I'll, I'll just give my grandparents something of the two of them. And then me and Will have gone out of our way to collect ornaments as we've traveled to different places. So, of course, we just went to Helen and then we went to Jamaica and some more. Oh some more stuff with my dad. So I am, I'm looking forward in a bittersweet way to seeing how the trees continue to unravel as time goes by. Sweet, this one's custom. <laughs> and that's me and Will. Our first, I think one of our first Christmases, that's 2016. And then Will also played into the COVID thing last year. And I am very much so. Of course, yes, we have these birds too. These ones we did, we started, me and Will, these critters. And I'm kind of bummed with Hallmark because I didn't realize at the time that they didn't have the year on it. So we were keeping the series going and then I had said you know these don't even say what year it is from our wedding and then this one I have a couple years back yeah so I am I'm very excited I look forward to getting these on the tree are you ready to go out and shop get some decor be like let's do this let's do do this Reagan's ready too. She has her juice. We'll put this up, right? He mm -hmm. thought it was better than the uh, mirror that we had. Yes. The mirror falls. The mirror doesn't, it's not good. I didn't think it fell. Listen, that is a video of our daughter at any given time just hanging out up there, ready to be visualized. And where did you get the idea for this? You saw somebody had had it? Um, I remember looking it up when Reagan was first born, and I was going to do it when Reagan was first born, but I was uh, just a lonely peasant with no money, and uh, I didn't feel like spending the money at the time, but now that I'm the Lord and Savior of this family. Oh my God, hush. <laughs> Look how happy we are as a family. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, Will? Well, I feel higher. So, I was <laughs> wishing I was- Look at the camera! I have to go higher, so I was wishing I was higher. Look at you, Miss Paige. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> ah. Why are you so bad? <laughs> Okay. I'm like, he's totally freaking me out, Reagan. I'm feeling like he's gonna fall. Just play a video when you're talking crap about the camera. I'm scared. You're going to fall. Who leans the ladder that much? <laughs> Isn't that funny, Reagan? Look at our beautiful house thanks to William. Yay! You can kind of see it on yours. I can't see it at all on my phone. It's gonna get darker. It's yeah. gonna look real nice. And we get the Camry in the garage with the boat. <laughs> Very good. What's he doing to you? How do you feel? You did that, Bill. You can do what they did and you can get your tree wrapped too. <laughs> Wow. 
What are you running out for? Like you're gonna do something? What? <laughs> what? You no puppy no more, old man. <laughs> What's up with this bounce copper? <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! Take the mess of dad. Very good. Come on, stinky king. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Here I come. I'm gonna get you. You are so fast. Stop. Stop. Let's go. Now. Out. never run so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Where are you going? <laughs> I got you. House, now. Do you smile, Will? <laughs> uh oh, her shoe. Now, how, when do we fix the outlets? Or put up our Christmas tree ornaments. How about I do the classic dad thing? I'll sit in my chair. Mm hmm. Looks great. Look what y'all doing with the tree. Oh my goodness, I just noticed this star is like smushed into our ceiling. We'll place the star last night. Let me show you. With it all lit up, <laughs> it's smushed. We don't have very high ceilings in this house. But we did get everything on the tree and it looks wonderful. You can see this tree from the road as well. And I did get some of Will's presents wrapped and they are under there ready to go. I'm very excited.